Has it done something with the lighting? Because the lighting's freaking improved. But anyhow, holy crap, one part of episode 10. Basically, it was Hypu Hypu 9000. And I'm taking a moment to realise, it's just me or does King look like someone straight out of a 90s anime? Like, he look, he has the exact same drawing style as someone of a 90s anime. I was sitting there wondering, it's like, it looks like he belongs in Fist of an All Star. Like, he's just so cool. I just, he's so composed. I just like him so much. But my god, this episode was freaking fantastic in its own right. Like, oh god. It's just, it's a, it's the setup for the final arc of the ep of the anime, and holy oh, crap, it's just gonna be the freaking, like, hypest, I don't even know the word, the hypest beat possible, like, this episode basically centred on the fact that, uh, Sai, Sabiwama, I think her name was, the girl, I, if I'm mispronouncing that one, I'm so sorry, but Sabiwama basically died because she choked on a coughing, on a coughing pill, and she can predict, like, the disasters that happen in the universe, and basically she's predicted this godlike kind of evil that's gonna hit the earth, and by Jingo it does. And there's a ship that falls down upon Earth. And so it destroys City Z, City Z like completely. Like 99.8% of the things destroyed. So 0.2% survives. So if you're in that 0.2%, you are completely fine. And then basically it summon, you su they summon the, the entire of the S class plus Saitama, who's in the B class. And the amount of people in the S class makes me laugh because they're just they're just, they're just tro they're just different people from like different animes I've watched and it's just so fantastic. Like it's just you got Atomic Samurai, which is a, he, he's he's just my hero. Atomic Samurai is my hero in one episode. I love him. You also had I think he, you have you had Metal Knight and you had a guy who looks just like Meta Knight from Kirby. It's just everyone looked so freaking cool. And then you have Watchdog Man, who I must say. He doesn't get much screen time. He's the best character. <laughs> he's so cool. Next to Moon Rider, I like Watch what Watchdog Man the most. He's just so freaking cool. <laughs> he's just the guy. In a, he's just a guy in a dog suit, just doing what he needs to do. And yeah, as you can probably imagine, what kind of struck me the most about the episode was was when Saitama escaped using the punch. Like I just loved how no one noticed it besides Genos. Genos didn't even. No one else noticed that he escaped besides Genos. And I was thinking, if he punched his way out of the building, wouldn't you have noticed the sound of the punch? Unless that's how significant he kind of is to everyone else. But yeah, it's just a, it's not a fault. It's just that kind of that one of those things that you kind of think about. It's like, how come no, no one noticed that? But yeah, the, and then the animation. The animation was freaking cool. I can't, I can't, I can't begin to even fault the animation in any way, shape, or form. It's just too good. And Tornado, man. Tornado is just so cool as a character. I I don't think you can actually pinpoint the best character besides Moon Rider. Moon Rider is his own league of character. You can't really pinpoint the best character in the anime. Everyone has their own has their own charm about them. It's just so cool. You even have Hitachi from Tekken. And he's just there to just show up. He's just like, he's the, like, the coolest old dude you ever, ever meet. He reminds me of, he does remind me of Hitachi from Tekken too much. I'm like, it's Hitachi. He didn't die. He just went, he went to One Punch Man universe. And yeah, I mean, Tornado is just so freaking cool. When she got angry, her face was completely changed, and it's just, it was quite comedic how she acts. And she's also 28 years old, apparently, so <laughs> it's kind of like, well, she must be using contour. But yeah, it was a brilliant episode. And now we've probably seen that Lord Burroughs is going to attack Saitama, which now is going to lead into episode 11 and 12. And then we've all got to be depressed because the anime will be over. So <laughs> we have ourselves, we have ourselves a killer two episodes to look forward to, because... As you can probably aptly imagine, everyone's gonna die. Everyone's gonna die practically, besides Genos and Saitama, I would imagine. And then Saitama's gonna go and this one punch. I don't even know you can take down one punch. He's a little, he's kind of guy you can take down in one punch as well. He's kind of like maybe he might be a bit more stronger than usual. But granted, I do want to see Boros fight because Boros seems like the it kind of, Boros seems like the kind of best place to end the series on because it's kind of ending it on a good note that it could leave open to season two or it could just finish. Like, because I know the manga is still completely going right now, and if they ended it on Boros, it wouldn't be a bad idea because it's it kind of ends it on a really really good note, and then leaves it open for a season two if they do do a season two because it's Madhouse and they won't do a season two, but if they do a season two, you you got yourself a season two there. And it's kind of cool in that way. I just don't know. I think the way they end their animes is completely fine besides Batum. Batum is the worst one they've ended. Ever than that, every single ending they've ever done, I've never been angry at because it's just like man eh. I mean Overlord was kind of angry angry a bit with it but I thought it's madhouse I'm used to it. But yeah I mean we've that's basically the whole episode and then now we're gonna have the wait next week for sort of Boris just come comes up and goes yo I'm taking your ass down and then we're gonna have the basically the fight of anime history. 
But yes, with all that said, I have, and also I forgot to mention the soundtrack was freaking fantastic as well. As always, soundtrack is the best thing about, one of the best things about the anime. But with all that said, I hope you guys enjoy the video. If you do want to leave a subscribe, it does help me quite a bit. If you do want to leave a like, that also helps quite a bit. If you want to support me any way, shape, or form, it does help me a lot. But anyway, with all that said, I have been the driver, and I'll see you guys later. Bye for now.